Hey everybody, I am back with part two of the 40 lessons that I've learned. See part one, you can click the link below. Also, come on and subscribe. Come on and subscribe to the channel. You might as well just be a part of my family. I want you to be a part of my family. Hit the notification bell and let's get into the video. Part one, I gave you lessons one through 20. Today I'm gonna to give you 21 through 40 and we are going to talk about it. Let's talk about, let's talk about some of the things that I've learned in life, okay? Number 21, trust your inner guidance. That spirit, that voice that you hear when you're going to make any decisions or when you're just quiet and there's no distractions, that voice that you hear that speaks to you, your inner voice, trust it. Learn to develop a relationship with that because usually what I've learned is that it's usually right. I didn't always trust myself and it wasn't until I started to trust that voice, it became stronger and the, the relationship that I have with myself became stronger. If you ever do something, you're like, something told me not to do that. Develop a relationship with it, get to know it, okay? Trust your inner voice, it's really, really important. It's helped me through so many things you just that's another video okay number 22 do you know what i have as number 22 dogs are the best pets period that's just a lesson i learned i never grew up with the dog um i started having dogs when i was in my late 30s and i love them so sweet all right number 23 show up each day Show up each day means that you come and put your best foot forward. Now, this is something that I have struggled with. There are people that can probably tell you that I wasn't showing up every day. I was just getting out of bed, doing the minimum, and not expecting anything of the day, not expecting any anything to happen. And so what I've learned is I like to show up each day. I like to come and put my best foot forward to come with a new, fresh perspective on life. Um, I have to kind of sometimes force myself to find something that I'm joyful in um, because sometimes you can get stuck in a rut and it's just the same. It's just the same thing every day. Number 24, you are worth everything everything that you want you are worthy to have it don't settle i had to learn that i'm worth it whatever it means i am worth it yes you deserve anything everything good you are worth it is really invaluable because if you don't feel like you're worth it then nobody else is going to feel like it either so <laughs> Listen, I'm telling y'all the truth. I'm telling y'all what I've gone through, okay? These are my lessons. Number 25, it's okay to be different. I used to feel different than most people. Like, I used to have this feeling like, oh, you know, I'm a little different. I'm not like everybody and blah, 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 blah. I'm telling you, be comfortable with that. Be comfortable with your uniqueness. Don't try to follow people. And I don't think that I was necessarily a follower, but I do feel that it took me some time to kind of get used to me feeling like I am different than most people. You know, I used to be uncomfortable with that feeling. And it wasn't like a difference like, oh, I'm better than you. It was just like, oh, I'm like just the way I thought. I had to become comfortable with being different. Number 26, sharing is caring. 
I know some people that, and I used to be one of them, like I used to try to hold on to whatever I could because I didn't think that I was going to get anything else. But I learned at a really young age, I started to share a lot of what I had, especially as I've gotten older, how important it is to share, the spirit of sharing. So, and that has taught me that whatever I give, it comes back to be tenfold. Have you ever heard of that saying? It's so true in like different ways, maybe not the same exact way, but it definitely comes back. Not sharing just because I wanna see it come back now. I don't know about that. But I've just learned that, okay, if I give this or let this person have this or if I share this, I'm gonna get it back. So sharing is Caring. Number 27, spend time with family. Family over everything. And I'm talking about the good people in your family who you have a good relationship with. Even the ones you may not have a good relationship with. I have tried to reconnect with my family. My family is a little bit different. We, um, we kind of are all independent of each other. And if, when I when I was like in my 20s and my 30s, I used to like kind of like, oh, my family so this and that. But now I'm starting to appreciate how strong minded my family is. Like I've learned the beauty of my family. And even though we may not talk every day, I know that we love each other and I know that we can depend on each other if we need to. And so I like to keep those lines of communication open. You just never know what's gonna happen and life is too short. Life is too short to not speak to your family and friends and friends who become family. You know, don't take that for granted. There are some people who don't have families. There are some people who lose their family members that mean so much to them. I just, I just learned to not take that for granted. 28 spend some time alone you ever heard of me time i know you heard of me time okay you're not bothered by anybody and it's time for set aside for you value the quality time with yourself me time is really important because i can't take vacations every day but i do need to recharge and I do need to rejuvenate and get in tune. And I've learned to get in tune with, with me. And you know, you give, I used to give so much to other people and I still do, but I don't mind it because I still have some for me left over. Really important not to burn yourself out. I used to burn myself out at both ends and that's not good. Number 20. Nine, forgive yourself. Learn how to forgive yourself. I had to learn this principle because I used to, and I still am, I'm still working on it, but I used to be so hard on myself. Criticize, overly criticize. And I remember working at a company and this lady said, you're so hard on yourself. And one day I woke up, I was like, why am I so hard on myself? And I started like um, learning just to forgive myself for things, my mistakes, my bad choices, whatever it is that I had to forgive myself for and letting it go. Learning, you know, what I had to learn from it. Forgiveness is so hard for me. You know what I mean? Like, but it's a attribute that you have to you have to cultivate it and number 30 is forgive others okay so that goes hand in hand forgive yourself forgive others I, I know it's hard some things are hard there are people including I was one of them where it was like I was holding on to this grudge for five ten years and the person has moved completely on and I'm still like oh I don't, you know, I don't like you. It's just like, we're gonna have to get over this at some point. Just feel light when you do finally forgive whatever burden is, is heavy on you, so. 
it's the I'm a work in progress, but I'm just telling you what I have learned. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, forgive them, move on. It's easier said than done. Number 31, be open-minded. I used to be so close-minded. I used to be like, no, I'm never doing this and I'm never doing that. And everybody has their own way of doing things in their own way of life and living. Now, there's some things that I've always been open-minded with. Everyone has the right to be happy. But yeah, it was like some things I'm like, no, I, I can't do that. No, I was not open-minded. And that closes you off or that closed me off to a lot of opportunities that I could have really enjoyed because I was closed-minded and I wasn't really um, open enough to share or experience different experiences if you close yourself down to life it's like you have nobody to blame but yourself and then you're gonna be sitting there trying to forgive yourself because you should have known better that's what happened to me number 32 be authentic be authentic in your relationships be authentic in the things that you want don't do things because you feel forced or pressured. Like when I used to do things because I wasn't really being authentic, I was just like, okay, I'ma just go with it. I really wasn't authentic in my decision making. Be authentic. Don't do things that you don't wanna do. Do things in an authentic way. And I had to learn like, don't pressure me like people will try to pressure you like oh you should do this or why not you know and all of this stuff i'm like girl can i be me i don't want to partake okay be authentic in your decisions and the things that you do number 33 balance is the key to everything i used to put work on and just I used to just put my work hat on and it never came off you know it was just like girl when you gonna go on vacation when you gonna do something for yourself all work and no play is no good and all play and no work is no good I've learned that you have to balance things like girl balance that okay you've been working hard two weeks now it's time for you to have a weekend to yourself that's all number 35 unlearn things and ideas that no longer serve you drops mic just unlearn it i had to unlearn things that no longer serve me number 37 hurt people hurt people whenever i got hurt i used to be so be angry of course i'm angry i'm upset i'm hurting and i thought it was me i thought that the person that was hurting me was doing it because it was my fault i didn't understand the concept that hurt people are going to hurt you no matter if you're good bad or indifferent they're just going to hurt you because they're hurting themselves and then later on i start to learn that being hurt is a teacher of compassion but it's, t it's taught me to be compassionate not to make it my fault and not to play the victim you know so number 39 meet people where they are you can't you can't really have certain dialogues with certain people like for instance if they are not open-minded right and you're like trying to talk to them about some things and you're so gung-ho and, and that person's like oh yeah okay see sometimes you gotta meet people <laughs> sometimes you gotta meet people where they are like if you know a person is not happy with their lives you have to kind of keep your distance from that type of vibe and energy and just whenever you do interact with them you know just keep it very no true because a lot of people are not going to be happy for you so you have to know 
who you're dealing with you have to know what you're dealing with sometimes you just have to meet people where they are and you just don't expect them to be happy for you or be happy like you are so that you don't get let down and then number 40 is happiness is a choice I know you heard that before. And once I started really practicing that, things started to turn around for me in a major way. Once I started practicing, okay, I can choose to be angry in this moment or I can literally choose to be happy about anything. I have so many things to be happy about. Why am I upset in this moment? Why am I letting someone get me upset or rob me of my joy? No, happiness is a choice and start choosing to be happy. All right guys, so those are my 20 things that I have learned. And if you have any lessons that you wanna share, put them in the comments below. Let's have a dialogue. Let's talk about when, let's share what we've learned in our lives. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up so I know that you did. This is something new to my channel, but I really enjoy making this video. So I wanna try to make more like this, but we'll see. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.